Hello guys, so today we are doing the first part of our build session as you know some of you I hope follow my Facebook group the detailed scale of view Facebook group so we did a voting on which kit to assemble next and this kit won by um, one vote actually so that's a ICM 135 scale light tractor Rhein Metal 1930 we all know that this tank did not exist like in large numbers maybe even it wasn't existing at all but we have this kit in 135 scale we are going to build it and see how it goes together this is uh, not a completely fresh release because it was released as far as I remember February last year so it's uh, let's say birthday of this kit and that's when we start this project I'm not sure why you all voted for this kit but I mean for me it is quite interesting subject as well so we can start it together so as you can see we have here the standard ICM box if you would like to check full review we have it on our YouTube channel so you can just type in the number of the kit here or type in the name of the kit and you'll be good to go just as a side note I can say that there are 185 plastic parts which is not that impressive for 135 scale kit tank kit but still it will be amazing to see how it goes together so we have all spruce in one plastic bag we have assembly manual here just like in the recent T35 build we will be doing the uh, cutting and also some gluing stuff off the camera because I have slightly different layout so that's why I can't do it on the camera but I will try to think of how to introduce a bit more interactive let's say way so here we have all plastic frames I guess we won't need the vinyl tracks at the moment and I also put aside the clear parts because obviously we won't need them as well so let's open this assembly manual and check what is printed here by the way history note so what is written here blah 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 so actually there were like two prototypes but it wasn't produced as a like mass produced so we can say that it is more or less real tank just let me close the camera lenses so that she won't get the blind and white Cover all. We have decals here as well. We put them aside because these crosses obviously are not needed at the moment. So, what do we do first? We get the top hull cover and we start building with it. So, let me place the spruce aside. So, top hull cover is here. I'll separate it and we'll talk about it in a second. So, what I'm usually doing and you all know from my video reviews I am using this stuff instead of the uh, typical plastic cutters why? because it gives you uh, more freedom with parts you are, let's say, less likely to damage the part and you get the clean cut of the attachment point which is really cool okay, so just a second Usually if some points are not that clean I just use the sharp knife and I am good to go. So, okay, I will clean the part so I can show you the final appearance of this element. Because some of the attachment points were not sewn completely because of the and got edges of this panel but I think that's not a difficult task just give me a second and you understand what I'm talking about fortunately I did not damage anything during the separation but we have attachment points on the and got armor here so here is the top hull panel let's zoom in so we had the attachment points right let's focus the camera right here and here so you have to pay attention and especially here because if you use the plastic so you can damage this turret ring and then you'll be 
trying to fix it somehow and it will be quite a funny experience so be careful pay attention and you will be good to go so we have this top hull cover and next what we have to do is to add some of the hatches but it's not as easy as it sounds because first you have to assemble those two minor parts together that's uh, a16 c6 and c6 so basically we combine hatches um, hatch with hinges so I need to find the suitable sprue okay so I found it it's part C6 so there should be another one just give me a second yeah so we get we get them in the same style I guess yeah so we have this hinges number C6 it was somewhere here I will zoom in so that you can see it closer. Here they are. Quite small parts, as you can see, they barely fit on my. I mean, they completely lost on my fingertips, so be sure not to lose them uh, to the carpet monster, or it will be quite a funny thing to find those parts in the carpet. I mean, we can all imagine this. And next we have this hatch, it's A16, so A sprue is here, and number 16 is here this small part. I will show it in a second once I attach the hinges and what I think to do is to reverse the assembly process so I will attach one of the hinges to the hull panel and then I will attach one of the hinges to this uh, I'm not even sure what is this because that's uh, that should be some hatch that should be part A16 but it looks quite strange in my opinion anyway okay so I will do what I was saying I will attach one hinge here and then I will attach another one on the port and then I will glue them together so port C6 just give me a second. It's really small, as you can see. <laughs> I think you barely see it in my fingers, in my huge fingers. Nevertheless, I'm going to clean it off and then we'll install it on the hull cover, obviously. I'm trying to clean it now then I need to understand where it will fit because here we have the ring now uh, some ring drawn but as you can see it is not present here so I'm not sure if it should be obviously it shouldn't be but I wonder why it is drawn there as you can see from another side there is also nothing so small node Okay, so now I need sharp tweezers because otherwise it will be a really tricky thing to do and maybe quick setting glue because otherwise you might have some funny time trying to fix it in the right spot with typical dark green glue from Tamiya. Okay. I mean, we are all using the same glue, so there is nothing to hide. And if you know any good alternative to this, I will be happy to know. Write it in the comment section. And okay, so here you can see this part in place. Let's zoom in. Here it is. And now we zoom out. Now I need to install another thing another hinge on the hedge so maybe it won't be as easy as I described because uh, when we have one hitch in place you have to slide this hedge into the hinge and then put the hinge into the sword but it is not as difficult as it might sound so I just need to 
so of the hatch okay why I was confused about the hatch because here you can see this part it looks like almost the headlamp cover as you can see it is hollow inside so that's why I wasn't like clear on why this part goes here and why we have the circle here it is not present on the plastic so keep it in mind when you will be building your model okay I am cleaning the part attaching the hinge and then installing this stuff on the model so just give me a second I'm already seeing some funny things because now we have the hinge fitment issues so I guess I will have to use tweezers in order to press it into the hatch so maybe we will continue once I install all this stuff so for today let's consider this is as introductory video and tomorrow we'll continue with assembly of all this stuff together with hull parts. Thank you for watching today, thank you for joining this video, of course if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and I will see you in the next episode. Bye! Hello everyone, so today this is a finishing part of the light tractor build, as you remember this was a kit from ICM in 135 scale, so here is the finished model. I decided to paint it in the German grey, I used the Gunzi paints and also some of the um, AK interactive accessories and as you can see this is a fully standard out of the box build, there were no extra modifications and actually there are a few things which I would like to mention about this tank. So first of all I'm not sure why we get the vinyl tracks, it would be better to see the plastic tracks because as you can see they are not natural, I mean they are not as convincing as they could be so this is definitely not a huge advantage of this kit. Also you should be ready to work with thin parts because they might be tricky to clean and separate so here just pay attention and try not to break anything extra and overall everything fits so really nicely all together so I didn't have any problems with fitment and everything went nicely together the only thing again is the vinyl tracks because here you have to solve it somehow and as you can see it's not as good as it could be so plastic tracks obviously would be better then I also added some of the extra parts because I mean they were staying in the spare parts box so I decided I have to use them, I have to place them somewhere and I just upgraded for example here I added the towing, um, actually the lifting loop and also the same was done for the turret etc etc so it's just a fine touches and I mean this is still an imaginary project so uh, or item so that's why I was free to do whatever I would like to. So overall I would like to recommend it to all modellers who would like to build something small, something easy, maybe to challenge their skills a bit because this is not a fully I would say professional kit because beginners can also build something nice from this and so that's why it can be recommended to um, starting modelers as well so as you can see it is really easy and quick and you can actually build it in a matter of weekend and it will be done of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this build you can write it as usual in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for watching and bye